Alright, that's okay. No, my stuff is good. It's not okay. I didn't say that. Maybe you should just let them know. They're all in tears. Is there a man here with you? I do, I cuss a lot. I cuss in front of them. So look, I cuss a lot. Alright, that's okay. Is there a man here with you? But he got cursed out. Why? Because he wasn't following directions. Right. So you mm -hmm. have to look at the principle of it. Yeah, the way he may have done it might not have rubbed you the right way. That's fine. But the principle was your son was not listening. Because guess what? The other kids who were listening, guess what they didn't do? They didn't get cursed out. Mm -hmm. So it's all about understanding the principle. She didn't understand it. She saw her son crying, got emotional, whereas me is dad. Let's get to the first video. So what we got? What we got? We got the first video. First video of the night. A Karen flips on Marshawn Lynch for cussing during his kids' football camp. Does she have a point? We'll see. Well, you know, uh, quickly, it, is it cussing or cursing? Well, for us black people, it's cussing. Mm -hmm. cursing. Cursing is when you at work. Oh, oh, please shit. don't be cursing. But when we, as soon as 5 30 hit, man, I'm about to cuss these jokers out. I'm about to cuss these jokers out. <laughs> All right, let's let Peanut start this off right here. It's Fish Jump Podcast. Oh. Let's go. Oh, that's okay. No, my stuff is good. It's not okay. I didn't say that. Maybe you should just let them know. They're all in here. Is there a man here with you? I do, I cuss a lot. I cuss I, I in front of them. Every one of them. Alright, that's okay. No, my son's a kid. Okay. Is there a man here with you? Not here. Is not a man here with you? But I'm here. Why, what does that matter? Because I'm my son is leaving. I don't care. It's my son. Children, oh, did you call them? Did they all say that? Did I tell them? If they're not doing what they need to do, then yes, there's cussing. Yeah, yeah. If it takes that amount of time for. When I tell a kid to oh, do something and they're not doing what they're supposed Down. to do, then there is consequences, like push-ups, like running laps, like telling, like them, to away from your drill. Like telling them to get out of my drill if they're not participating. Get out of your right. drill. Get I'm out of my drill. Get the the out of my game. drill, or whatever it takes to get my drill. Oh gosh! Look, first what? of all, first of all, as an ex-football player. And I played on many different levels, mm -hmm. including the professional level. Mm -hmm. Some of the shit you see, man, a lot of moms wouldn't handle that. But right. when I was in high school, they, they coaches grab you. When, I'm sorry, I saw it in the Pee Wee League. Coaches cuss you out. They grab you, your face mask. They'll smack you upside your head, even through college. Yes. My college coach used to smack us aside of head, grab our face mask, especially look, when you do something my, stupid. My, uh, my oldest son was in football for years. And look, the way they were cursed, first of all, them kids be cursing too. What? But the way that them, them but it, it toughens them up because it's like at the end of the day, when they in that, that whole, the game and they competing against another team, them kids is going to be cursing at them too. Yeah, so, for real. Look, but see, this is the thing. Like the kids, they, they know, they know what it is. The, the fathers know what it is. But also at the same time, you never know what environment or how they, how they raise their child. We also don't know how old the little boy was. So... I mean, you know, we, we got to take it with a little bit of grace. So the little boy maybe not be used to the that, cursing. That little so boy that could be two be years it. old. Guess what? You're going to get used hey, to that cursing on that football field. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, again, if they was under 10, I could understand. Anything over 10, no, and this is no disrespect to, to the ladies out there, but we know that women are way more emotional than men. So she's seen her son crying and... She just started going off the deep end. But mm -hmm. I think she might have been missing the principle. Your son is crying. Okay, because he got cursed out. Fine. But he got cursed out. Why? Because he wasn't following directions. Right. So mm -hmm. you have to look at the principle of it. Yeah, the way he may have done it might not have rubbed you the right way. That's fine. But the principle was your son was not listening. Because guess what? The other kids who were listening, guess what they didn't do? They didn't get cursed out. Mm -hmm. So it's all about understanding the principle. She didn't understand it. She saw her son crying, got emotional. Whereas me as dad, if I see my son crying, hey, come here. Let me talk to you. Uh, listen, was you following directions? Oh, yeah. That's why you got all of that. So, all right, get yourself together. And I tell my sons now, my son, my 10 year old, he is very emotional. And I tell him, when he on that soccer field, that basketball court or whatever, you're never going to be good being emotional. 
So if you Listen, can't control yeah, your emotions, exactly. you're not. You cannot play sports. Sports is a very. You have to be disciplined. You can't worry about the crowd, your family. Yeah. That you gotta be locked in. And if you can't be emotionally stable, you would never be good. Look, it so, starts. It starts. Look, let me let me add, being in that position, it, the boy wasn't crying because he got cursed out or because of the cussing. He was crying because he knew he fucked up and he was in bad. He's upset. You know what I mean? Let me. It'd be grown men out there crying. Yep. Because you, you know that you, you will be at, at this position. And maybe she at just this didn't particular understand time that part. Play, see, and you weren't there. That's because one thing. That's one mom thing. Should, mom shouldn't something. be out there. No, let me tell you something. I was one of the moms because I used to play football in my tomboy years. If, if one of the coaches said something to my son, I just sat back and I'm like, mm. And then at the end of the practice, I said, so why the hell did you? <laughs> 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 I said, why would you do that? <laughs> So, wait, so here it is. I'm reiterating with the coach. Was, was you out there with, with no shoulder pads on? <laughs> First of all, I play street football. So he was in football? the street, yes. Yes, without shoulder pads, without without all the protection and stuff. So just yeah. Teddy's just jumping all over. <laughs> 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 she got a football in his hand. Teddy's just going they like that. to strip you. They, 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 you getting assaulted. <laughs> they get this football. <laughs> you know what? Oh you, you can't make me fumble. They try to hit your titties for real. Like, yeah. <laughs> my mom, listen, my mom went to one practice. My dad was sick. My mom went to one practice. I played defense. I tried to jump over the the pile to te- to tackle somebody. My mom ran on the field. Y'all doing that now again? <laughs> I'm a buck seventy five at forty. So at ten, I might be I might have been sixty pounds. So it's like y'all did that, my foot, my son. She took me off the field, took me home, and my dad had a heart issue, so he couldn't yeah. go to the. He said, Sharon, I love you. You have you are never going to not another nothing. Like Sharon, you, 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 you messed you up. Pocket, yeah, Sharon. Yeah, you have you have officially been banned from. Oh, you can't yes. go to a scrimmage. You can't go to nothing. You didn't embarrass my damn son out there. Take him off the field because you was right. being emotional. And from that point and so on, now she, the kids gonna talk about yeah, you. So from by that the point on, she nah, and that was it because she didn't understand. She just saw me flying over the pile, thinking somebody was doing something to me. Yeah. That, well, hold before we get to the comments, let me give a shout out to my man, my man Kles right there. Kles, Kles up there, seventy two. Our member, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to our member. Our member. Hey, my man, right there. Yep. You know how you doing in your ear? <laughs> you know how we doing Philly yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who else in the building We got L Boogie in the building Y'all Boogie, you know, L Boogie in the building You know what I mean Hey man We doing the baseball thing tomorrow And I know you coming Because you said you was coming So don't be 52 no, faking I me out No I said I was exempt from baseball Because of the cookout L Boogie she coming with She coming tomorrow with, She coming ride with me tomorrow L Boogie <laughs> First of all, I'm not riding with anybody. I'm going to drive and I meet you there because when I'm ready to go, I'm ready to go. I'm not waiting for nobody. <sighs> just like a black man. Happy, happy just, just want to be difficult. Happy just, want to, just want to be difficult all the time. <laughs> Slaves got freed on Juneteenth. Happy Juneteenth. <laughs> right. Right, Jesus. Jesus Christ. Well, let's go to the comments. So we got uh, comment number one. How are you going to tell Marshawn Lynch how to football? You Put said them kids in golf then. Listen, oh my gosh. Listen, at the end of the day, that's what I'm saying. Like, I understand he does his thing his way. He was a professional football player. He won a Super Bowl. So he's played at the highest of heights. You can't get higher than the Super Bowl. So mm-hmm. he's done it. He's really, really done it. And he really would have won the game, but we understand the politics of all of that. So, again, like, you got to understand this man is trying to teach them how to get to where he's been. He, he, You can't say, well, you ain't never make it to the big game. No, he did, and he, sh- he showed up. So it's like, you got to understand that. And that's why I respect him for saying, do you got a man? Because, again, he didn't want to argue with that lady. She's a female. And you mm-hmm. see his size. He's a big guy. Right. So he could already, he's, he's big, he's black, he got that's brave. He's already intimidating. That's so. why he asked her. Exactly. That's Where's your man? Where's, the, yeah, where's, where's your man? man? Yeah, right. Yeah, you know right. what I mean? Right. All right. Because this could have went left. Oh, he intimidated me. He made me the. And it's like, no, sweetheart, I'm trying to understand Listen. But see, you know what? I didn't really think that it was more so her. It was the other lady in the background. What does that got to do with anything? Because no, the lady with the green. Because yeah, I don't want to talk to you. Yeah, I want to talk to your man. Because the actual mom, she was listening. She seemed to be understanding when he was explaining to her. 
it was more so the lady in the background. I guess maybe the grandmother, whoever. No, that was her kid. She said it's my son. That lady with the green. And the- I think she said that's my son. Why? Yeah, yeah. Well, your son need to play golf, just like the comments. Look, said. take him to go play some basketball. What's yeah. that pickleball they got now? Well, pickleball. You know yeah. what? <laughs> he do swimming. Ain't nobody gonna holler at him. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so, comment number Look, two. That's their sport anyway. Swimming. That's you just know what? We need to stop it. Comment number two. I'm just saying. Don't sign up for beast mode if you ain't ready. Exactly. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Because every man know about Marshawn beast mode. Lynch. You're not going to put your kid in Kobe cam and think that he ain't going to get, <laughs> you know, God rest his soul. If Kobe was alive, he ain't just letting you slack around and no. He's right. going gonna to be, gonna be on your top. Yeah. So it's like you got to understand what you're signing up for. You, you want saying. your kids to be great. You know what? And you signed them up for this program like... That's just like when you send them up, to, uh, sign them up for school. You want them to go to the best school so they can learn the best. So therefore, this is the same principle. Mm-hmm. I don't get it. Listen, if, if that if that was my son, I'd be out there. I'd be in, I'd be in the bleachers with a belt. Every time he <laughs> forgot, I just wave that belt. <laughs> I guarantee he ain't dropping no passes, no nothing. But that's why he out, he out that yard. <laughs> <laughs> That's why the kids Whoa. are so soft is these days because you can't holler at them. You can't do this. You can't do that. And it's like, you yeah, gotta understand to be quick. to mm-hmm. be great. It takes a lot. To, it, it takes a lot to be good. You know that the odds of making the NFL is like one in a couple hundred million. Like that's the odds. To get in there, so you it's got, like you got a better chance of being a trash man. You got a tra- you got a better chance of being <laughs> successful. Holy say, let's say sanitation, sanitation, sanitation oh. worker, <laughs> trash man. Let me be coll- politically Sa- correct. Yes, sanitation oh, trash we got. <laughs> for our sanitation workers out there. We appreciate you because you do come and get our stuff every week. Yes, yes, I appreciate you too. But stop li- <laughs> leaving the, the the trash truck juice and on my. It's not them. It's the it's the, it's the, it's the oh. machines. Yeah. Like, my, well, can my, you make sure my trash yeah, can gets back in front of my house? Yeah, I don't want to go thirteen houses down to get mine. <laughs> yeah, ex- all, exactly. My lid has been go- been gone a long time ago. <laughs> somebody stole your shit. My lids are gone. <laughs> somebody, <laughs> still got her, gone. somebody got her lid. Well, that, was so a, look, that was a raccoon. <laughs> that's a comment number three. Marshawn, you are 100% correct. Uh, and he is. Yeah, and he is. is. This, this football, man. This ain't baseball. No, yeah, I love baseball. Football is a context sport. Football, the football is a football. You gotta be tough. What? You gotta be. <laughs> football is a car crash. Man, Every play. Every play is a car prepared. crash. Yeah. Uh, are you okay over there? I think I saw a ghost. <laughs> the hell? Oh, shit. The ghost following me. The ghost yeah. <laughs> Make sure you I take them home with you. <laughs> <laughs> Did you sneak a little edible? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> she over there. Oops, Look, she was talking and then just stop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, y'all. Tell us what you I think. Promise.